bass fishing adventure down at our local system. Um, so bass season has just started and there's plenty of really big bass out in the river. So hopefully we'll get onto some few. And we're here with Zach hey. and Asher, my younger brother. And it's a fairly overcast day. So um, hopefully the bass are on the chew and we get some really nice fish for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy. So today my outfit of choice is a direct seller 2500 and that is sported with 10 pound J braid and 10 pound F zero leader and a black savage 24 kilo 7 foot spin rod. So we're at the beginning of the little river system now. Um, there's really big bass holding here. So today I'm throwing a TT Lewis uh, number two jig spinner with a 3.5 inch Z-Man grub. And Asher here, my younger brother, is throwing a little Z-Man grub with a 1 12th ounce jig head. And see if we get any fish. So this is first cast, okay? So the thing you don't want to do is catch a fish first cast. I don't know about you guys, but it's bad luck. So, let's give it a go. On. First fish of the day. Little bass. There you go. Little healthy bass of the day. For like 20 centimeter bass. Nice little fish. Hooked up to another bass. He's got me right in these weeds. Feels like a good fish. There you go. Another really good fish. Such awesome fish. Skinny water bassing at its finest. Really shallow little creek here. Plenty of weeds and cover and this guy just came out and hammered it. Unhook him. Give him a release. There you go, second fish of the day. Yep. 
I saw him ate it. Another little bass. Hopefully they get bigger, but still a nice little fish. Oh yeah. Double hook up with Asher. Two little bass. So Never underestimate the size of what a bass would be living in. So I came here a couple of weeks ago and I was catching big bass in really super shallow water and narrower than this actually. So um, if you see something like this log, for an example, cast your lure out, suck like a jig or a soft plastic, and then drift it down past the log. And if there's a bass there, he'll come out and whack it. And then you're on, so that's a good tip when chasing bass in skinny water. So, um, we've done pretty well so far. I've caught, I think I've caught seven bass so far, which is pretty good day to be honest actually um, a few alright sizes biggest about 35 maybe but the rain and sun to come down which is kind of good because it gets the bass into the feeding frenzy mode yeah that's a good one yeah nice bass guys Right as I was saying we should move, it came out. There you go. Beautiful bass. So that's a nice little fish of the day. Probably in the low 30s. Healthy little fish. He absolutely smashed a little Z-Man grub. So really nice fish. We'll get some photos and get him back. So I just had a flick in this little corner here. Before Zach said that he saw something big, so I chucked my lure in there. Put up a really healthy bass. Biggest one of the day. Um, absolutely hammered the Z-Man grub. Get a measurement on him and then give him a release. So that's the end of our bass fishing adventure today. I ended, I think, with about 13 little bass. Nothing very big. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the big girl isn't quite to play, which is a bit annoying, but we can always try again another day. I think the rain kind of put them off, which is strange because bass normally like rain, but yeah, it was a really great fun day. So how did you find it, Asha? Oh, good. Caught three bass, it was pretty good. How about you, Zach? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was hard going, but we got a couple of small ones, managed to get a couple on my jigs. I was pretty stoked about that, and yeah, definitely we're coming back here when it bit sunnier and the water gets a bit warmer yeah so thank you so much for watching this uh video um i'll be posting more videos make sure you like and subscribe and turn the post notification bell and follow all my socials that will be in the description just below thank you for watching and i'll see you hopefully soon